Lesson 19 Download and Reconcile GSTR 2A 2B. In this chapter, we will discuss that how you can download and reconcile GSTR 2A and 2B. Basically, GSTR 2A or 2B is a return filed by your supplier and you need to reconcile the data that is filed by the supplier with the data you have entered in the busy or we can say the data you have entered in your books of accounts. So in this chapter, we will discuss the reconciliation of GSTR 2A and 2B along with the download of these files. For auto download of GSTR 2A and 2B, there needs to be certain configuration in busy and on GST portal. This configuration we have already explained in our chapter, chapter 18. So to download GSTR 2A and 2B, we'll go to transactions, GST miscellaneous utilities, download GSTR JSON data, and then we will click download GSTR 2A. On clicking the download GSTR 2A option, a save GSTR 2A data window will appear in which we will click the auto download option. After clicking the auto download option, we will click the download button provided in front of the month for which we want to download the return. So here we are downloading data for January month, then for February and then for March. So we have downloaded data that is GSTR 2A for January, February and March. And on the screen, you can see a saved label is appearing. That means your files have been downloaded for these months. Now we are done with the downloading of the file. We will now discuss how we can reconcile GSTR 2A data. For reconciling GSTR 2A data, we'll go to transactions, GST miscellaneous utilities, reconcile GSTR data, and then reconcile GSTR 2A party wise. You can reconcile both party wise and voucher wise. So first here we are discussing the party wise option. After selecting the reconcile GSTR to a party wise option, a window is appearing in which first of all, if you want to reconcile data of a particular party, then you can specify yes in the filter on account option and then select the required party. Next, specify the starting month and the ending month for which you want to reconcile the data. Then you want to consider the voucher date or the purchase bill date. If you want to consider the voucher date, then specify V in this data field. For purchase bill date, that is the date you have entered in the GST reporting details window in the purchase voucher. If you want to consider that date, then specify P in this data field. Then as you want to view data for only mismatch parties, ignore difference of amount up to rupees, that is up to what amount difference can be ignored. Then is consider GSTR 2A JSON for that is for which period you want to consider the GSTR 2A JSON data. First is current and previous period, which means let us say, for example, there is an invoice of the month of December, but it, it was uploaded or filed by your supplier in the month of February. Then if you are viewing data for January to March, then this transaction will also be considered. That is, if vouchers filed in the month of January to March, whether they belong to this particular period or they belong to previous period. Then as current period only, if you select this option, then such invoices which are actually entered in previous period will not be taken into account. And then as previous period only, in this case, only the vouchers entered in the previous period will be considered and not the vouchers which are entered or uploaded in the current period. Next option is exclude zero rate entries. If I yes in this data field, if you do not want to include the zero rated entries, then exclude RCM entries. Specify yes in this data field. If you do not want to include the RCM entries, then reconcile only with filed entries. If you specify yes in this data field, then only those invoices will be considered which are filed by your suppliers. Sometimes the supplier upload various invoices but do not file them. So if you specify yes in this option, the data will be reconciled only with the filed entries, that is entries which are filed on GST portal. Then is exclude SEZ entries. If you specify yes in this data field, then SEZ entries will not be included while reconciling the data. Then is ignore difference of voucher number and date in second level report and ignore matching of invoice amounts in second level report. Second level reports means on pressing the enter key, the report which appear in those reports, matching of invoice amount is to be ignored and difference of voucher number and date is to be ignored or not. So you can specify yes or no accordingly. Next click OK button. 
On clicking the OK button, a reconciled GSTR 2A party wise window is appearing, which is showing the GSTN of the party, party name, filing frequency, and then is type that is data as per busy and data as per GST portal. So you can see for each party, there are two rows one reflecting the data as entered in busy, and one reflecting the data as uploaded on portal. Then here a filing option is also appeared, which shows that currently the data is filed or not. Here, one thing to note is that if there would be any mismatch entry, then those entries will be shown in a different color, that is red color. On pressing the enter key on any of the entry, three options will appear, busy data, comparative and mismatch. Basically, using busy data option, you can view complete listing of busy data, that is data as per busy. Then is comparative option. On clicking this option, you can view the comparative data, that is complete data will appear which will show a comparison between the data entered in busy and the data entered as per GSTR 2A. Then is mismatch only. If you select this option, then only mismatch data will appear on the screen. That is uh, entries in which there is any mismatch of data, only those entries will be shown on the screen. On selecting the mismatch only option, you can see only those entries are appearing where there is a mismatch between the busy data and the data as per GSTR 2A. So this is the reconciliation of GSTR 2A party wise. Now we will discuss reconcile GSTR 2A voucher wise option. Here report will be sorted voucher wise. On selecting this option, a reconcile GSTR 2A voucher wise window is appearing, which is showing same report options which we have just discussed under the party wise option. Specify data in various report options and click OK button. On clicking the OK button, you can see a reconcile GSTR 2A voucher wise window is appearing which is showing at the left hand side the particulars like fully matched documents, partially matched documents, or difference in voucher number, partially matched document, difference in date. So all this data is appearing here. You can press enter key on any of the entry and view its bifurcated details. Then here missing documents in busy data GSTR 2A option is appearing. Missing documents in busy data GSTR 2. Basically on clicking the enter key on this report, it will show only those documents which are missing in your busy data, but they are, they are uh, present in GSTR 2A. So it will show the list of those records which are not currently entered in busy. Similar is missing documents documents in GSTR 2A data. On pressing enter key, it will show records which are not available in your GSTR 2A data, but they are present in your busy data. So basically it will show those entries which are there in busy, but they are not there in GSTR 2A. Maybe your supplier has not uploaded or filed those entries on the portal. So this is the reconciliation of GSTR 2A voucher wise. Next, we will discuss about GSTR 2B. So first of all, we will download the GSTR 2B. For this, we'll go to download GSTR 2B option and then we will select the auto download option. Here also, we are downloading the data for the month of January, February and March. You can see we are clicking the download button in front of January, February and March and we have downloaded the files for these three months. After downloading the files, now we will do the reconciliation. For reconciliation, we'll go to reconcile GSTR data submenu and then reconcile GSTR to be party wise option. That means report will be sorted on the basis of party. On selecting this option, a reconcile GSTR 2B party wise window is appearing, which is showing a lot of report options. You can specify data in various report options and click OK button. On clicking the OK button, a reconcile GSTR 2B party wise window is appearing, which is showing data party wise. So here you can see party name and the data which is not matched, that is mismatched data is shown here in the red color. Here again on pressing the enter key, it's asking busy data, comparative or mismatch only. Using busy data, you can view the listing of busy data. Using comparative, you can see the complete data, comparison between GSTR 2B and busy data. And mismatch only records will, will show only the mismatch data. Next is reconcile GSTR 2B voucher wise. Here the report will be sorted on the basis of vouchers. So again, provide data in all the report options that are appearing. Click OK button. 
On clicking the OK button, a reconciled GSTR 2B voucher wise window will appear where it's also showing us some rice details like fully matched documents, partially matched documents, difference in voucher number, difference in date, mismatched documents, difference in amount of voucher, missing documents in busy data GSTR 2, missing documents in GSTR 2B data. So accordingly, you can press enter key on any of these particulars and then view the bifurcated details. So this is the reconciliation of GSTR 2A and 2B. Here we have discussed the downloading of GSTR 2A and 2B and then reconciliation of GSTR 2A and 2B both party wise and voucher wise. At the end of the chapter, we have provided a certain exercise. You can view the exercise on screen and attempt it. Hope after going through this chapter, you would be able to easily download and reconcile GSTR 2A or 2B. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.